Hey everybody, this is a tutorial on selective leveling. This is something I actually learned from Damien, our very own stay-at-home dad. And um, I have just found it to be really a useful thing to know. Um, because when you level an entire image, you are not taking into account that there are certain areas that are very lacking in contrast, where even though you may have very bright whites and very dark darks. so to get an, an idea of how to adjust certain areas, you really need to select just those areas. So the easiest way to do it, I find, is, and this is the way Damien suggested too, is to use the um, quick selection tool. So I'm gonna um, select this area here where her face is looks a little hazy because there's a major lack of contrast, as this was shot backlit, so that happens quite often. So I'm just gonna very, um, loosely select it if I want to. Um, I can get a little more detailed about my selection by zooming in. I find that it's it's kind of forgiving, but um, you can certainly um, you can certainly hit the shift key and, and subtract. Oops, I'm not on the background layer. That's my problem here. Um, so you could definitely subtract from your selection here if you wanted to. So I just reselected and um, if you wanted to, you could feather, but I find that creates more artifacts, so I just usually do a selection like that, and I find it it, it works out pretty well. So once I have my area selected, the easiest way that I think that I've found to do it is just go to the Adjustments panel, click on the little Levels icon, and you can see, right from the histogram, you can see we're lacking, we're seriously lacking in some blocks. I'm going to move this over here so we can check it out in the image here. Okay, now that you're seeing her face. So um, if I bring this black slider over to where the information starts, I'm getting a ton more um, detail in her face already. So I'm just gonna click that layer on and off so you can see the before and after. And maybe I should zoom out a little more. Okay, so that's before and that's after. Obviously that's a huge difference and um, it really makes um, a really, big impact on on the way that 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 image will be perceived so um, it's a very very useful tool and um, even if you just want to slightly adjust a skin tone like say I'm happy with the very warm weight balance of this image but I find that her face is a little too red I can selectively go into the red drop down here and um, change the sliders specifically in the reds so you can really, really fine tune certain areas of your photograph. And um, like look, just looking at this photo, another place that I might want to adjust would be her vest is a little bit too white. So I could go back to my select, my quick selection tool. Um, you have to be on your background layer to use the quick selection tool, otherwise it doesn't know what to select. And I'm just going to select um, the white area here. Now, um, by accident, I caught some of her arm. So I'm going to um, just click on the, the up here you have the, you can click the minus and that will subtract any areas that you get by accident. So I'm going to minus her arm. And you could of course zoom in, make your brush smaller and do this much more detailed. But I'm going to um, show you the levels. We're going to go back to this adjustment panel, click on the levels again. And this time, I think probably what I'll do is just I'll drag the black drive black slider up here, and then I'll also bring this um, median slider, midtone slider, over to the right. And you can see that that kind of toned down. See how you can see more detail now in her in her coat. So that's it. That's the power of selective levels, and um, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial.